Hi, I'm Tom with GoMeasure 3D. Today we're going to take a look at probing organic surfaces inside of Rhino 3D using the Measure XL Optical CMM. So the Measure XL uh, system consists of an optical tracker and a wireless handheld probe. Uh, so once I select the tool sets that I want to use inside of Rhino, this probe allows me to sketch in 3D space whatever object I need to. So I'm going to first probe out the profile of this uh, part here and then get the organic shape on the top. And by the end of it, we'll have a CAD model of what you see here. Uh, so right now, I'm just going to probe out the perimeter, which is just as simple as selecting our 3D curve tool set inside of Rhino. And I'm just going to probe around the outside of our part here. Okay, now that we have our perimeter, there is our 3D spline. So in order to make it perfect, I'm just going to transform this down to our C plane. And now that that's finished, I'm going to set a new C plane so that we can conduct our Boolean operation at the end of this. So to do that, I'm going to hit view set C plane three points and so we can just pick up our probe select our three points there's our new C plane and that is going to be the plane that we cut through because that's where, where our organic surface stops so we're going to go back up to transform project to C plane And then we're going to keep both of those there. All right, so I'm actually going to hide this out in a different layer because we're not going to use this quite yet, but we will need it soon. So I just hide that away in layer one. And so now I have our profile that I'm going to extrude into a solid just above the top plane. So we'll go into solid and then extrude so we can use this we'll just go right above our part there now we have our solid part i'm going to hide this solid part in a separate layer which will be layer four and then we'll hide that away Okay, and now I'm going to bring back our profile and create a point cloud over our organic surface. So I'm going to use the outside constraint of our profile along with the point cloud that I generate on top of this organic surface and create an organic uh, surface on top of that. And then we'll use that later to cut away from our solid body. Move this real quick. So I need some more information over on this side. Okay. So now that I feel like I've gotten everything that I need on the point cloud side of things to generate our surface, I'm just going to highlight everything here go to surface and then patch click ok now we have our organic patch surface 
But what we still need to do is use that patch surface to cut from our solid body, which is here. So what we'll do now is go into solid. Let me move this into wireframe so that I can see everything more easily. So we will go to solid, boolean split. We will select our bottom and our organic surface. And then we will hide everything that we don't need. All right, and so real quick, I need to put my top surface into a different layer so that I can hide this away. So we'll go into layer five. And there we go. There is our solid body with the organic surface on top. Thanks for watching.